Beardo Benjo. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this brand new VR boomer shooter, Shock Troops. I have been loving this game, I've been playing it all week, I just haven't had a chance to get around to making a video for it, so I'm doing it now. Better late than never, you know, better late than never. Check out that, look at that lovely like smoke, mist stream in the torch. It's those, little, it's those little details that really go a long way for me. Now, you might be thinking, what the hell is a boomer shooter? Beardo, what are you on about? Well, well let me explain. A boomer shooter is basically a first-person shooter that adopts the same or a similar art style and gameplay mechanics as the classic shooters like Doom or Wolfenstein or Unreal or Quake. There's a few modern examples like Dusk or Wrath, Aeon of Ruin, I think it's Wrath, Aeon of Ruin, I played it, I've forgotten the name of it, but those games that kind of appeal to boomers, <laughs> basically, older gamers who probably grew up with shooters like Doom, who are looking for those kind of experiences or experiences that are faithful to that now in the modern age, and this is basically one of those built from the ground up for VR. As I said, this is Shock Troops, and I've been <laughs> blasting this all week and absolutely loving it. Now, I'm going to show you a few levels today. I'm going to stick it on the hardest difficulty because I'm breezing through on normal, and I kind of want to find out if it's much harder on harder. I imagine it probably will be, so let's prepare to get my ass kicked. Now the game takes place over I think just four levels, might be more than that, but it does look like it's taking place across four levels, and each level is broken down into kind of four sub-levels. Um, each level probably takes around 40 minutes to complete, but I guess that's dependent on your difficulty level um, and how many times you die. So we're gonna go in today into some levels that I particularly like. Shush. Shush. Shush, lady, who are you? Where are you? Look at that. Target practice king. King of shooting things. Bugger. I guess you flick up to reload. So it is very arcadey. But that lends itself to the kind of the speed and the feeling of the game. Um, I. My brain doesn't typically go to Doom when I think of boomer shooters. My brain goes to the one that I loved the most when I was growing up, the one that really got me into shooters like this, and that was Alien Trilogy. Alien Trilogy on the PS1 is just... Select select that, thank you. Um, was just my favourite um, of these kinds of shooters. And this reminds me a lot of that, and I'll show you why in a later level. But let's jump into this level first, and I'll show you what the game's like. We need to signal our position to the shock oh. troops ship, Commander. You will need to recalibrate the four Look at it. of the communication array. It's so cool! It's so cool. I would gladly buy just like tons, hundreds of VR games that look like this. I don't need them to all be the flashiest, newest graphics. I mean, this still looks gorgeous, but it's gorgeous in that boomer shoot away, you know? It's pixels and sprites mixed with a 3D aesthetic. I just think it's so smart, and it works really well in VR, and it's super faithful to those old boomer shooters and new boomer shooters um, that we all love so much. Right, so the gameplay loop is fairly straightforward. I'm running and I'm gunning. It's a lot of strafing left and right, it's a lot of blasting enemies, and it's just a lot of fun. Let's get into it, right. Let's go. Okay, enemies are a bit tankier on hard, I see. Or maybe there's just more of them. Oh, hello. No, I think they're a touch tankier. Hello, son! Come on now. Come on now. Thank you very much. Oh, hello, sir. Hello there. Where are you going with that... That Toblerone? Taking my Toblerones away. I was having a conversation with someone while I was streaming the other day, and they didn't know what a Toblerone was. Right, drop a comment down below if you know what a Toblerone is. Everyone has to know what a Toblerone is, right? Big triangle chocolate you get from the airport. Filled with nougat-y goodness. Answer or is it honeycomb? I'm not sure. Now, I think... I could be wrong. I'm going to test it in a second. Now, I think because I've progressed the later levels... Yeah. 
So because I've progressed the later levels, I can bring the guns I've found in those levels back to these earlier levels. So I do have these ridiculous weapons. I don't know if you can melee with this. It shoots like a big disc. Hold on. Let's find an enemy. Let's find somebody to shoot. Oh, you, you'll do. Look, it shoots a big disc. But it goes through quite slow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Okay. Now, you'll see, I am using my Hello Real guns today for extra added immersion. It is helping. It is adding to the immersion. These things are actually pretty cool. I bust them out for... Uh, typically any game... Oh, no. Oh, no. Typically any game that lets me dual wield. Okay, I've got no bloody ammo in there. No, don't hit me from afar, you absolute shits. Where's my pistol? Oh, no. Use the thing. Flamethrower them. Flamethrower them away. Whoa. Die! Why won't you die? Jesus. Yeah, I do typically use these on... Oh, come on now. <laughs> okay, we can't... Can we shoot round? I'm not even going to try. I'll fall off the side and I'll die. Uh, so I do tend to bust these out for any game that lets you kind of dual wield. If you're holding a gun or gun-like structure... Come on, mate. In both hands, I do bust these out. They're nice. They add a bit of weight to the controllers, and they're kind of that makes you feel more like you're holding a gun. I don't do anything else beyond that, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool, and you can get them in lots of nice different colours. I got purple please. ones. Now, what I will do is I'll jump between a few different levels today. I probably won't play the entirety of the levels, but I just want to showcase kind of um, the range of different visuals you encounter in the game. So this is a really unique level. It's not the first level in the campaign. The first level takes place inside the space station, so it's a lot of um, tight, dark corridors. Um, and this one's a lot more open. Um, but there are levels, which you'll see in a moment. Oh, this thing isn't reloading. This is just infinite ammo. This is amazing. Oh, God. Um, there are levels... Oh, look at that gore. There are levels on kind of volcanic planets, um, kind of nice alien planets with kind of a bit more of a greeny blue aesthetic, more water. Um, and yeah, I, I really dig it. It's just, I think it's $9.99 as well, $9.99, £7.99. It's such a bargain. Such a, oh, piss. Oh no, where are you? Where are you? I hate these things. Go away. Aim. Aim for the enemies. Look at this. I'm destroying it, even on hard. I think it needs it needs another difficulty. It needs an even harder difficulty that kind of really makes you um, get down, dodge, and duck and maneuver. I'd like to play a difficulty that had maybe a few more enemies to throw at you. Because although I absolutely love this game, Answer I really do. having a great time with it. One Thank more you. to go. Thank you. Um, it isn't all. It isn't all positive. I think there are a few levels that could really benefit from being zhuzhed up. Extra intensity could really help. So there's a particular. There's two levels in particular. One is on a train. Ah! He shot me right in the face. And another level is on an elevator. And the premise is that you're on this train, and the train's going through a tunnel, and enemies keep spawning on, um, and you need to dodge kind of um, neon signs as they come towards you as well. Great concept, but it just felt a little bit easy. Um, I could have done with a few more enemies spawning, um, something to kind of really ratchet up the intensity, and it kind of didn't happen. So, yeah, I think, and, and it was the same for the lift level. You're going up a lift, and you're shooting enemies. Position and signal um, acquired. Your ship and there was a lot of... Okay. Our activity on the station oh. has been noticed by the Hello. Guardian Hey I, Argos. Hey we I or A I. Argos before leaving, or it will be impossible to retrofit the station for duty. What the Enjoy hell is a Hey I? and terminate Argos's watch. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go in here and do this boss fight. So yeah, this this lift level as well. 
when you're going up the lift, it stops every now and then and enemies come out. And I felt like there was a lot more room for intensity in that. There's a lot of kind of slower periods in between where there's not a lot of enemies coming up and you're just standing on the elevator waiting. So I think there, there could be some fine tuning. Commander, I've been this is a cool little boss fight though. Hello! Points, destroy all his cannons <laughs> and the whole generation to destruct. We're going to smash this boss so quick. Hello, guys! Get out of here. Come on now. I just think if you're a fan of shooters like Doom, Alien, Trilo Four, Alien Trilogy, you'll have such a good time with this. Really good for, um, I think, anyway, newcomers, VR newcomers. It's not too complex, you know, it's just run and gun. Um, and it does have options for snap turning and things if you're a bit prone to motion sickness, because I'm playing it, like, really fast, really smooth. Um, so you can flick on... Come on. Some accessibility settings to make it better for yourself. Yeah, it's like a nice basic reload mechanic. I don't, I don't know, I, I just really the like the simplicity of it. And it's really nice level of polish as well. Come on, come on! No! Why won't you shoot anymore? Why are you like this? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, even on hard, it's not quite hard enough. I want it to be harder. I want there to be more enemies. I want it to be more grueling. Make it as hard as possible. Please. Hey! Smashed it. <laughs> Absolutely smashed it. Easy peasy. Let's do a different level. Now, there does seem to be collectibles to find as well, or things that will upgrade your character, because I found this eyeball symbol on one of the levels and it now does say vision uh, plus to scan range and there's a few more kind of markers on him which I'm assuming are tied to other perks that you can find in the levels. Now this isn't the only character um, you can play as. He has got this thing on his eye now which is different. I think that's come from me picking that up. There's two other characters you can play as. There's um, Akisha and there's Agnostos. Now Arthur has a, a dash which I can't use here. I'll use it when I get into the level, but you can do like a quick dash. Um, Akisha has slowing time, which is great, and Agnostos has a shield. So there's different ways to play. Um, depending on the character you play as, you will have different abilities, so a little bit more replayability there if you'd like to play the game through in a different way with different characters. Uh, a very different vibe to this level. Look at it! Seven pounds and 99 pence for this gorgeous little shooter. I think it's brilliant. I mean, I do think you probably have to be a fan of the kind of the sprite art, pixel art aesthetic. Um, but if you are, just you have the best time. It's just such a solid little shooter. And um, I think even if you're not necessarily a fan, I would urge you to try this one. Oh, come on. Because next to playing the classic Doom games and Wolfenstein um, on the Quest 2, thanks to the brilliant um, Dr. Beef ports, this is probably one of the best shooters of this style that you can get on this platform. Hello. And there is some nice enemy varieties we start going through as well. I hate these snipers. Hey, mate. Easy. You can't snipe me around the boxes. You're not smart enough, are you? You're not smart enough, sunshine. Get yeah, dead. Come on. Oh, no. They remind me a lot of the um, like the pig people from Duke Nukem, actually. God, what happened to Duke Nukem, eh? I remember working the midnight launch for um, Duke Nukem Forever, and we played it just before the launch. So we knew it was garbage. You know, we knew it was terrible. And these customers were coming in buying it, and we just didn't have the heart to tell them how bad it was. I think in their heart, they all knew it was bad. Ooh, come on. Thank you. Right, we're going to smash this. I love this level. I love the vibe. I love the visual. I love how much is going on. Get that right. This is how you're meant to play. You're meant to play quick. 
side strafing. Speed. Nope. Oh, flamethrower. Screw it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, that's not going to work for that, though. Oh my god, hit him. They are going nowhere. Where are they going? Piss. Okay. He's going to snipe me. He's going to snipe me. He's got a pumpy. Okay, right, we've got to get over there. Get rid of this guy. Son, son, son. Thank you. Give, give, thank you. There are also asteroids falling and landing around me. Here you go, look. Shoo! Really cool. <laughs> really cool. It's one of the coolest Quest 2 games I've played in ages. It just has so much style. It's got more style in like one frame than a lot of kind of big <laughs> Quest 2 full store releases have. Um, that I've seen over the last couple of months, Good anyway. Work, Just so Take much style. Love it. No! <laughs> Why? Okay, so basically, I played through pretty much this entire game because I wanted to record and cherry-pick a few cool levels to show you. But because I've gone back and I started by showing you this level here, Outer Space, it's now erased my progress and I can't show you these levels. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that, Arthur? You dick. I wanted to show them the aliens. foundry. <sighs> Ah, so yes, this is the slowdown mechanic this character has. I guess it's the blue bar at the top there. Okay, that's cool. Right, I was going to finish this video by showing you some of the aliens from the later levels because they're very, very similar to Xenomorphs and the levels themselves have like egg sacs. They've got these blue kind of caves. They look gorgeous. But the game has unceremoniously deleted, I guess, my progress or overwritten my progress because I dared to show you some of the older levels. How dare I do that, eh? How dare I be so foolish just to show you some of the levels I've already completed. Um, <laughs> so, I guess we'll leave it here. We'll end it here and we'll call it a day. This is Shock Troops. I'm, I'm really fond of it. It isn't perfect, but I think the visual aesthetic, the kind of fast, frantic, minute-to-minute -minute gameplay... Um, the very arcadey feeling to reloading and everything. I think it all comes together really nicely. The music as well is really good. Um, it all comes together really nicely to create a, a classic boomer shooter for VR. If you're a fan of Doom or Wolfenstein or Alien Trilogy or any of those older shooters, or even the modern ones like Dusk, I think you'll have... Take that. A very good time with this game. However, it isn't perfect. It isn't, you know, it isn't the best game in the world. There are some sections that I do I think could really benefit from and keep pressing forward. Shush. A little more intensity. Um, as I mentioned, the train section and the lift section need a little bit more intensity. A few more enemies would really help um, make you feel like you were up against the odds. Um, and then take that, you shit. And then, yeah, things like not being able to replay older levels because it <laughs> it overwrites your progress. <laughs> that is a bit of a kick in the balls. I'm absolutely gutted that I can't show you the aliens today. I don't have enough time to play through right now. It's quite late already. Otherwise, I would. But I would still say come check this game out for $7.99 or $9.99. I think it's an absolute bargain. A, a huge level of polish. Really fun to play. Looks gorgeous if you're into this kind of aesthetic. I, I very much am. And yeah, I'm just having a very good time with it. I hope you've enjoyed, everyone. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe. And I will see you all very soon ah, for another one. Burn, you sons of bitches. That's it. That's it. Get burnt. Get crispy. Oh, sniper. Sniper. Here we go, sniper. What are you going to do? Yeah. I've gone in the lava. I've gone in the lava. I'm all right. Lava doesn't hurt me, apparently. Um, what's that over there? What's that demonic entity? Hello? Hold on. What's that over there? Just people. Just people. It's fine. This Just people. Wow. It is using it illegally. Lovely. 
We need right. to find a way to shut it down. I, exactly. I will. Don't shush. Yeah, I know. Right, I'll see you all very soon for another one. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to try to reclaim my progress that I've lost. Take care, guys. See you later. I can't get over these boxes now. Oh, there we go. Game's absolutely mugging me off now. Absolutely mugging me off. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.